I was watching YouTube today because I didn't feel like reading for whatever reason. And I stumbled across this video by Leon Hendricks saying that he's going to quit YouTube in the sense that he's going to stop making the videos or the type of videos that he's been making up until now. And I just stumbled into Leon Hendricks when the YouTube algorithm introduced me to him not too long ago. But his videos are very well edited and very entertaining and informative, very engaging, but it's not sustainable for him. They're taking way too much effort. He doesn't like the whole process of it and, and as especially as to how much effort goes into something. And a lot of the times it does it only gets like 30,000 views and doesn't really turn a profit. So not sustainable was the main reason for quitting as well as he wasn't enjoying it at this point. And it reminded me of a question I asked myself or my future self rather, I made a video called Jaime in seven years. I have Jaime in one year, three year, five year, and seven years right now. And the seven year one, I said, I asked my future self, are you still making videos? Are you still enjoying making videos? And I don't know what my future self will answer by the time that video is released. And I'm 40 years old by that point. But God, I hope I'm like Penguin Zero Charles who uploads two videos a day and just loves doing it, just sitting in front of his computer and spewing whatever his thoughts are on the latest trending news on the internet. Obviously, my videos are very different from Charles because I'm not commenting on popular trending news, but I hope I still enjoy sharing my thoughts even after doing it thousands and thousands of times. Sharing my thoughts, sharing what I've learned from reading or otherwise. Also, I hope that it helps me keep my goal of making exercise a regular thing and practicing the flute a regular thing. It's funny because I saw a couple videos saying why YouTubers are quitting right now. So Leon Hendricks can't be the only YouTuber. There must be a bunch of big YouTubers who have quit recently or declare that they're going to quit. And just like one of the previous videos where I mentioned a tip that Ali Abdal, Ali Abdal heard, find something you enjoy and do it for decades. Decades, not years even, but decades. And having been dreaming of being a YouTuber since I was a high school student watching the likes of Kev Jumba and others, I've heard that passion is unreliable because passions are just feelings and feelings change over time. But my feeling, my passion of wanting to be a YouTuber or at least making videos by myself has not changed in like almost 20 years now. So I've definitely gotten a late start, but I don't think that my desire for that will change. I hope it doesn't. I mean, posting every day, obviously there is a risk of a, a, a pretty realistic risk of burnout and I might tame back the upload schedule so that I don't have to upload every single day but for now I'm committed to it and I hope my love for making videos doesn't fizzle out and burn me out in a few years or a decade's time. Only time will tell though and when my seven year video comes out in 2031 I guess I can give myself a reply in the future when I'm 40 years old then. Anyways today I didn't really get one percent better so I guess I can't really say my catchphrase, but whatever, it's still my catchphrase. I'll say it anyways. 1% better every day, baby.